Welcome to our installation video. In this video, we will show you guys the installation process of our Highmaster V Series R290 heat pump. First, we need to check whether the goods are intact. To unpack the heat pump unit, we'll need a pair of scissors or a utility knife. Before installation, it's important to evaluate the installation site for both the indoor and outdoor units and prepare an appropriately sized concrete or stainless steel foundation. Also, don't forget to install an electrical box with an circuit breaker, considering the electrical requirements of the heat pump. Check if the packaging box is intact without any visible scratches or damage. Check the model number, size, and specifications listed on the packaging to ensure they match the heat pump system you plan to install. Unpack the heat pump unit. Carefully check the appearance of the heat pump for any damage during transportation. Unpack the indoor unit. Don't forget to use a leakage detector after unpacking the unit to make sure there is no refrigerant leak. Pay attention to areas such as welding joints, refrigerant shut-off valves, and evaporator coil welding connections. Install the radiator in an area where it can evenly distribute heat. Install the fan coil unit on the wall or ceiling using the provided brackets and screws. Lay the pipes in a spiral pattern to ensure even heat distribution across the floor. Use the sling belts from the accessory box to pass through the base feet of the outdoor unit. Carry the unit to the installation bracket using the sling belts. Adjust the position and fix the outdoor unit with bolts. Now let's get started with the installation of the indoor unit. Ensure the indoor unit is installed at the correct height with a laser level. Use the installation sheet to mark the correct location for the mounting bracket on the wall. Next, drill holes for the bracket using an electric drill and attach the mounting bracket to the wall. Finally, hang the indoor unit on the mounting bracket, ensure it's securely in place. Let's move on to the water pipe installation for the outdoor unit. First, securely connect the pipes to the domestic hot water tank. Next, connect the pipes to the buffer tank, ensuring all connections are fixed. Attach the mains water refill pipe to the system. Connect the pipes between the indoor and outdoor units to ensure smooth water and refrigerant flow between them. Ensure that the inlet and outlet water pipes are firmly connected and leak-proof. And then connect the pipe from the indoor unit to the water tank. And make sure the pipes are securely attached and sealed using a pipe crimping tool. Also, ensure that the pipe connection to the expansion vessel is secure and properly tightened. Finally, connect the buffer tank to the heating end devices, underfloor heating, radiators, and the secondary circulation side of the fan coil, including valves, pumps, and other components. For the electrical connections, connect the power supply cables from your electrical box to the outdoor unit. Make sure the power specifications match the requirements on the nameplate, including phases, voltage and frequency. Before powering on the unit, ensure that all electrical connections are secure and there are no exposed cables or loose terminals. Switch on the breaker and observe the system as it powers up. Make sure all valves are open. During the first installation, it's important to clean and flush the system to remove any dust or dirty materials from the pipes and components. After the initial flush, close the drain valve and begin refilling the system with water. Now watch the pressure gauge. Close the fill valve once the system pressure reaches 1.1 to 1.5 bars. 
The system's automatic air vent function will help remove any trapped air from the piping system. Next, run both the heating and hot water modes separately. Pay attention to any unusual noises from the indoor and outdoor units as they start up and operate. After 20 minutes of operation, check the temperature difference between the inlet and outlet water. The temperature difference should be within 5 degrees Celsius. Turn off the heating mode and switch to hot water mode. Again, listen carefully for any abnormal sounds or situations. That's all for today's installation process. Thanks for watching.